Chairman Graves, Ranking Member Norton, members of the subcommittee, I'm Tom Kretzinger, President and CEO of American Central Transport. Today I testify on behalf of American Trucking Associations, the largest trade association for the trucking industry, representing more than 35,000 member companies. I will speak today about the trucking industry's positive safety record and about a fundamental change in the government's approach to truck safety that is needed to continue this long-term trend. The truck-involved fatality rate has decreased 74% since 1975, and in the last decade alone has dropped 38%. Continuous improvement will require an acknowledgement of the principal causes of truck crashes and appropriate countermeasures. The vast majority of large truck crashes are the result of driver errors, not vehicle defects. FMCSA's crash causation study found driver error was a, quote, crit critical reason behind 87% of the crashes. Meaningful improvements will also require a broadened approach from the current rules and enforcement-centric model to one promoting voluntary adoption of safety technologies and initiatives. ATA believes the discussion of the most effective ways to improve truck safety falls into three categories rules, enforcement, and a new partnership. ATA has a proud history of supporting new common sense safety rules. ATA was an early advocate of mandatory drug and alcohol testing, the CDL program, and the upcoming drug and alcohol clearing house. ATA continues to call for regulatory initiatives to improve safety. Regarding these regulations, ATA supports a proposed rule to mandate electronic logging devices to track hours of service compliance, a pending rule to mandate stability control devices with some flexibility to account for the diversity of the industry. AT is also eager to see a proposed rule calling for mandatory speed limiters on trucks since vehicle speed is the greatest contributor to highway crashes. Finally, recognizing the role of driver behavior in crashes, FMCSA should make development of a national system to alert motor carriers to moving violations and license suspensions as one of the agency's top priorities. Turning to enforcement, continuation of the long-term improvement in truck safety will require a change in the government's enforcement approach. Despite clear evidence driver behavior is responsible for the majority of crises, Federal funding for on-road truck enforcement is predominantly spent on inspecting vehicle condition, not traffic enforcement. Uh, government research shows traffic enforcement coupled with the limited inspection is at least four times more effective in preventing crashes and saving lives. Yet FMCSA data refle reflects a steep decline in enforcement activity. FMC's current safety efforts are largely limited to compliance and enforcement. The agency should use a carrot and stick, but is focused on using the stick. This approach is limited in its effectiveness and does not address ways to compel positive behavioral change. Government should partner with us to promote voluntary adoption of innovative safety tools and technologies. In short, government could establish criteria for meeting a gold standard and reward the fleets that meet it. Government incentives can accelerate adoption of new tools and technologies already being embraced by the industry. Among the more promising technology, technologies are video event recorders. These devices mounted on a windshield can monitor what occurs inside and outside a vehicle. Records are saved when risky driving or collisions are detected and a supervisor is sub subsequently alerted. My company is a good example. We are currently employing these technologies voluntarily and it's really helping. We have seen a 64% reduction both in the number of events and the severity of events all while increasing the number of units in our trucks. Mr. Chairman, we are eager to, eager to work with the government on more creative safety approaches. Thank you for the opportunity to testify.